Hello, may the peace of Christ be with all of you. My name is Jean Madden, and it's an honor and a blessing for me to serve as the Director of Religious Education and the Director of Music for St. Francis Cabrini Parish. I want to thank Monsignor McCormack for giving me the opportunity to provide this weekly message. I'm very excited to speak with you about some very special upcoming events. On Saturday morning at nine o'clock, 30 of our young parishioners will be gathering in the Monsignor Woods Hall for their confirmation retreat. This will be one of the final steps in their preparation for the Sacrament of Confirmation. As part of the retreat day, they'll participate in the 930 daily mass and then return to the hall to explore their personal relationship with Jesus Christ and examine how the gifts of the Holy Spirit empower and challenge all of us to spread the gospel of Christ throughout the world. Bishop Fitzgerald will be here to celebrate the Sacrament of Confirmation on Thursday, March 25th at four o'clock. These young people have waited two long years to celebrate this sacrament and have worked very hard using Matthew Kelly's Decision Point program to prepare not only for confirmation, but for a life of Christian witness. Please pray for them that the gifts of the Holy Spirit will fill them with courage and zeal to become more active members of our parish community. And speaking of becoming more active members of our parish community, there is still time to return your stewardship card expressing your interest in learning more about a particular ministry or activity within our parish. We understand that Monsignor McCormack's letter finally arrived for many parishioners earlier this week. The ministry interest card and the treasure Sunday envelope can be placed in this weekend's collection basket or they can be mailed to or dropped off at the rectory. On behalf of Monsignor McCormack, I thank you for your continued support of our parish through the sharing of your time, talents, and treasure. I hope that I'll be speaking with some of you soon regarding your interest in our music ministry or religious education programs. I'm also delighted to personally welcome you to join us next Wednesday, March 17th at seven o'clock in church for Tuesday prayer around the cross. This is one of my favorite forms of prayer. Tuesday is a candlelit meditative service centered around song, scripture, and silence. The darkened church and repetitive chants serve to quiet the mind, open the heart, and turn our focus away from the stress and anxieties of this world and toward the love and serenity of God. Tuesday prayer services are typically an hour in length with an invitation to remain in silent prayer for a short time after the final song is sung. People often enter the church burdened by the cares of the world, but after placing those cares at the foot of the cross, they leave with a renewed sense of peace. As I said, this is one of my favorite forms of prayer. If you've never experienced the power of Teze prayer, I hope that you can make the time to join us on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m and discover the joy that comes into your heart when you still fill your soul and release your cares to God. In closing, it's been wonderful to see more people returning to Mass each weekend. We continue to follow the guidelines to provide a safe experience for everyone. People are seated every other pew with a limited number of people in each pew. Everyone is asked to wear a mask. The priests, deacons, and extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion bring the Eucharist to our parishioners right where they are in the pews. 
thus taking away any unnecessary anxiety about standing in a communion line. And pews and high touch areas are sanitized after each mass. We will continue to live stream our 11 o'clock mass on Sunday mornings for those who are unable to be with us in person. But we miss seeing your faces and hearing your voice lifted in song and prayer. We hope that more people will take comfort in our efforts to provide a safe environment and will join us in person. Thanks to everyone for the continued support of our Pot of Gold program. Monday's jackpot prize is $6,000. And you are still most welcome to come any Monday evening after six o'clock to help process the tickets. And that takes place in Monsignor Woods Hall, also known as the gym. Why don't you stop by and help out? Remember to set your clocks ahead one hour on Saturday night so that you get to mass on time on Sunday. I hope to see you there. Let us pray. Lord, during this Lenten season, Nourish us with your word of life and make us one in love and prayer. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed week.